All right. So uh, today we're going to be having a look at Die by the Blade. I've been waiting a really, really long time for this game, and I streamed it yesterday, and I had an absolute blast. Um, so we're going to dive into it because there's a lot to get into, and I want to make sure that you guys have a good sort of understanding of what the game's about and everything that's involved, right? So Die by the Blade, if anyone's played the old Bushido Blade, or even played a little bit of For Honor or Hellish Court, this is a, a 1v1 instant kill, to a, like, well, in this game it's instant kill, For Honor isn't. Um, but in uh, Die by the Blade, it absolutely is an instant kill. Set in a cyberpunk setting, um, you have the ability to choose any weapon, unlock some characters, but it all comes down to the weapon and how to wield it. And you can kill them in one go. You can cut off their legs, their heads, their arms, whatever. Like, it's pretty cool, right? So let's just jump in to just a little bit of um, single player. Just I'll show you one quick match. To showcase how this actually looks um, so you can obviously like choose your character here uh, I think I've unlocked all the characters now which is pretty awesome we'll go dice cave for the moment you can then obviously then choose the weapon that you want to wield as well which is really nice okay so there's a whole bunch of weapons that are available for your character to actually wield um, and then of course we can also choose our opponents you can choose dual settings for this and then uh, let's go now obviously the graphics aren't gonna be as impressive as say something like Tekken 8 or Mortal Kombat 1 but if that doesn't bother you and you just want some really good solid gameplay this will be the game for you possibly um, yeah I've been I've been waiting for this for a really long time because I'm a massive fan of Bushido Blade I'm a massive fan of this style of game so the way it works you can see here that you can change your stance from high to mid to low right you can dodge out of the way of things as well which is pretty cool and lose your head in the process which is always it's good for a headache but uh, not good for anything else right you can also dodge roll as well which is nice okay and you can see that you've got a resolve bar that when you do actual attacks it actually chews up some of that right you can also do a parry move as well which is nice so when they attack um you know you can parry it and then obviously like try and counter attack if you're now if you're holding the same level as they are when it comes to the stance right so if you're say like both on mid if they attack, you'll auto block. All right, so that's pretty good to know. All right, and um, yeah, it's it gets really intense. Now I've played a few online matches with this as well, um, so that way you guys like I'll show you what that's like as well because I actually I actually didn't find any lag issues or anything. It was actually pretty good. Um, so that all functions and works really good out of the box. It's crossplay, I believe, with Epic Games as well. So that's awesome. So now you can also do finishes in this game so you think oh, why would i need a finisher if i'm literally like cutting the head off well the way it works is that if you get them in the last part of the actual fate like the combo you'll do a finisher just like that it's really really awesome absolutely love it so that's kind of that's kind of a thing too so you might start a combo and then hopefully try and get them on the last hit now you can also cancel your combos as well um the easiest way i found is just tapping parry so when you go to commit to an attack you can then cancel it out like that to try and fake them into doing something and then you capitalizing on that as well right so they've done such a really good job at making sure that they've looked at all the intricacies when it comes to you know the combat side of it uh, and I love that. I think it's really awesome. Let's change. We'll go to the Wakasashi because that's really cool. All right. Uh, we'll go to the same guy again. That's fine. Okay. There's quite a few different stages as well that are available. I, th I think it's about 10 perhaps. I'd have to double check, but it's about 10 stages. All right. Should be able to show you that as well. You're going to look at all the customization and the weapon customization as well. It's just, it's mad. Like it's, it's really, really cool. And I'm, I, I love fighting games, right? So I'm pretty happy with, you know, um, even though it may not look like a Tekken 8, I'm pretty happy with, you know, it looking the way it does. I, I'm, I, I love it. There we go. You don't need that limb. Right, just, you know, use your keyboard some, some other way. Right. Oh, there we go. Now, obviously, something like a Wakasashi is going to be a little bit faster than the Katana which is fine, 
So that's where some of the gameplay comes in. So just having a quick look at uh, all that's available in this game. Uh, so offline content, you've got versus mode 1v1, which is also you can also create a tournament to play with your friends as well offline. You got online mode, so you can host a duel, host a tournament, ranked duel, ranked tournament, and then leaderboard and stats. Now we're getting to customization in just a set. You got a single player tutorial. Uh, I'll quickly show you that in a set. You got practice mode, so you can just go in and practice to your heart's content. And of course, challenges. Now I think I've unlocked most of the achievements so far, except for three. It's not a whole bunch. I think it might be like 15 or 14 or something. It's not a huge bunch anyway. So when you do a tutorial, you obviously can come in and you can choose from your basics, your attack, your defense and finishes over here. And then also you can actually come all the way over here and then choose different weapons as well. So if you want to learn how to, okay, well, I want to like try some, uh, you know, some katana, see what they call sequences, right? Uh, and they also refer to something here called a triplet, which is basically it's your direction, your stance and your action all in that one slot so if you if your if your triplet starts off with you being like mid and you're on your katana right then um that's like that's what they consider like the sequence right so you can see here with the triplet right so you've got your direction okay you've got your direction you've got the position that you need your stance and then of course the actual attack button that you need right so this is a mid sequence uh, a Right, so obviously like you're pressing forward, then pressing back, and then pressing forward again, like that. And that's how you do the sequence, or the combo, for those that don't know, right? And obviously then you can switch things up as well. Uh, so you got, what have we got? We got, the the and then, I think I messed that up, hang on, let's, let's try it again. Right, so we got, and then forward, so... Yeah, and then we've unlocked the next one. So you can come in here and you can practice these and then, yeah, just try them out. So that's pretty cool. So you actually do have a lot. And like I said, if you get them on the final hit, you will actually perform a finishing move, you know, based on the weapon and, and position and stuff like that. I think it's based on position, definitely the weapon, right? So anyway, so let's have a quick look at the character customization. These are all the different characters you can actually unlock in the game which is pretty cool, all very sort of cyberpunky feeling, right, which is cool. And then, of course, when you go into the actual a uh, customization, you can then, there's other skins that you can unlock with currency, all the currency you earn in-game. There's no other currency that you earn outside of the game, it's all earned in-game, spent in-game, right? And then you can customize the character as well, right? So you've got all these different options here. Some of them you can even, even dual cost, uh, customization. So I noticed before on Butterfly, I could have a face mask and then I could also attach glasses to her face as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Now there's not a whole bunch that's available when it comes to the actual character ones. And I am hoping that over time they'll actually add a lot more into the actual game as well, which would be pretty cool, right? Um, but so far I'm pretty happy. This was a $30 game that I paid for and I feel like I'm getting a ton for it. So I'm not I'm not worried, you know, about there not being as much as, say, Mortal Kombat or, or anything like that. There's a lot in this game, and I love it. Now, the weapon customization, this shit is crazy. These are all the weapons that you can unlock in the game. You've got the Katana, the Chokuto, the Nodachi, the Wakazashi, and the Najinata, right? You've got all these weapons, and the customization in this is sick. Okay, I'll show you in a, in a sec. You also have some standard special skins that you can't customize, so it's purely special. You got the Royal Katana example, Bamboo Katana, which sort of has the uh, the Tsuba, the guard of like a ninja toe. You got the Golden Katana, the Golden Dragon, and then the Power of Seven. And each weapon has these particular skins that you can unlock if you've got the currency. But you also can customize a weapon like the weapon itself. Everything from the pommel to the grip to the guard, the collar, and then the blade itself. And there is just like an absolute metric shit ton of stuff available in this game. Like, it is nuts. Like, just crazy, right? You can really just, you know, make it however you like. So obviously a lot of the customization went more into the weapons than the characters. But like I said, hopefully over time, 
you know, we'll start getting more and more character customizations, you know, when they bring out patches or, or any sort of future DLC, perhaps we might get more. Um, now that the game is out in the wild, uh, you know, you know, now they can just sort of start adding to it as well. And I love the fact that you've got this customization. It doesn't appear to be anything in regards to weight. Like, so, you know, if you're equipped too much like gear on your character, uh, it doesn't seem to change anything in regards to like how much weight your character now has and the movement involved in that. But it all comes down to the weapon itself and the slight stats that you see over here between each character can make a difference. So for example, Daisuke has a lot more resolve, meaning that he has a lot more, you know, um, uh, sort of ability to do more attacks without it running out, right? The Ronin has tons of resolve, and then Yoshi's like he's sort of middle ground. Butterfly uh, has like less than that. Tony Monk, you know, so these stats can sort of make a bit of a difference, right? But not super much. It really does come down to the actual characters themselves. You got a few banners that you can unlock. There's not a whole bunch here. It's just like roughly a basic layout as well, you know. So that's kind of you know that's neither here nor there for me. That's fine. You also got some taunts that you can also buy as well for each weapon right so it doesn't it's not about the character it's about the weapon so if you go on katana and these are probably some of the most expensive things you can buy, purchase in the game right you've actually got like all different like taunts that you can activate um which is pretty cool you can even flip the bird right <laughs> that's pretty cool man right like that is pretty cool i wanted the birds on each one Oh, there we go. We've got the loser one. We've got the throat slice. So it looks like they're all different. It looks like the actual taunts are actually all different to each weapon as well. So that's pretty cool. There's actually got a lot of customization in there they've done. So that's really nice, right? So let's jump in and showcase some of the ranked jewel. Uh, sometimes I do good. Sometimes I don't do so good. But... Ultimately, I've been having an absolute ball with this game because you can play aggressive, you can play defensive, but it's all a mind game. It's all about trying to fake out your opponent, trying to read them and see, okay, you know, what's going to happen. Keep an eye on, say, obviously the weapon they're using, right? So if I'm, say, uh, I'm going to, I usually go Dice K because I just love how it looks at the moment. If I go the Wakasashi, uh, that's going to mess up a lot of people because I'm wielding two weapons at once, right? So that can make a big difference. That can make a really big difference, right? Um, because they anticipate like the one sword, but then the other one follows through and takes them out. So you have to be very careful. Other weapons like say the Najinata has a massive reach, okay? Over other weapons like the Chokuto and the Katana. Uh, obviously, you've got the uh, Nadachi was also, you know, just like it's like a katana on steroids. Slower, but again, massive reach. So if you don't want to get too close to your opponent, then you can hold back a little bit, you know, and sort of, you know, uh, you know, sort of poke a little bit from distance and stuff like that, right? So uh, I don't know. We'll see if we can try and find someone else because I do like to showcase this thing when I do do reviews to see if we can get someone to fight. So far, uh, no problems when I'm playing online. Everything seems smooth. I haven't had any sort of major issues with lag. Everything feels really good. Everything does feel really good when it comes to this game. So, um, I don't know if you guys have played this. I don't know if you guys have seen anything about this at all. But um, I'm, I, I'm really having a ball with this game. Really having a ball with this game, right? So uh, let's uh, let's change. It looks like we've got an actual online fight, so you guys get to see what this is like. Uh, we'll go to the Wakasashi, uh, and then also too. Also, if you've unlocked the other skins, you can also flip between them as well. So you've got your customized one, and then any other skins that you've actually bought uh, as well, which is pretty cool, right? So uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be really interesting, right? So I'm gonna have to make sure to keep out of range because he's got a long reach. Now, like I said, there's a few stages. I'll, I'll try and set up a match, like at least to show you the sort of stages that are available, right? Um, there are nothing, there's nothing that you can pick up. You can't sort of go up onto the stairs there or anything like that. 
uh, which is fine. There we go. Excellent. So, I, I just love the gear. And you can also change, like, how your character faces as well, like that, which is pretty cool, right? Let's get around him. Oh, and he got me on the last hit. So a lot of people, because they know that there's finishes in the game like that, they're going to try and like do those combos to try and get you on the last hit, right? So it's all about... It's all about the mind game stuff. So he went to try and do that, and I'm like capitalizing that and got in close. Now, you can, you can see how many pips you've got left, you know, versus them, which is pretty cool, okay? Um, I've absolutely just come up against, like, the most psychotic warriors in this game. It's pretty cool, right? And there goes my head. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you can instant roll and take him out. They take him by surprise, right? But, yeah, it doesn't often work. All right, here we go, here we go. Is he gonna is he gonna try and do his combo again? I wanna try and capitalize on that. So he goes bang, bang. Nah. I was hoping that he would stop on the third, but he didn't. Hoping, hoping. Oh, ho, ho. very satisfying. Very satisfying combat, right, in this game. Oh, and he got me. On the fourth hit. In the fourth hit, right? Let's try another match, right? Now, I don't have any sort of major issues with this game. Uh, the, probably the only issue that really bugs me is that when you when you get back out of match, it puts you straight in the offline part. So I'm like hammering the button to get back into ranked. So I would like, um, if the developers see this, just simply to make it so that when you come back out of ranked match, just put us straight back on this panel, right? Uh, so that because sometimes I've just been hammering the button to jump back in and I and I'm like loading up a local match to, to fight against people So we'll see if we can do one more online match and then uh, I'll see if I can showcase because the Like I said, you can showcase uh, set up a tournament um, And I might be able to ch or I might be able to do it 1v1 to choose a stage Maybe maybe all right, so let's uh We'll try this dude. I haven't actually used this dude yet uh, we'll go, yeah, we'll go Katana, see how we go, you know. Like, honestly, man, like, it can go either way in this game, and that's what I love about it. It really is one of the most skill-based games I've, I've played in a really long time. Um, obviously there's things that'll need to be ironed out and stuff like, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I think it's got like a Danger Mouse thing. That's pretty cool. Alright, so his, his... His sword is really fast. His sword is really fast. Really fast. That's another bug I've noticed too. Sometimes the sound will go out. Um, which uh, kind of sucks. Okay. Oh, you didn't need that leg, did you? No, don't worry about it. It just, you know, just rub some dirt on it. Alright, here we go. And he got me. So I was coming in on top, and he's straight up. See if I can catch him off guard. No, nah, he was ready for that. So you do auto block, like I said. So if you're both on mid mid, you know, and they attack, you know, you'll actually block it. There we go. I parried. There we go. I went low and then I was able to go up through his attack. There we go. Yep. I think we both got hit then. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't think it takes, um, I don't think it actually takes anything out. Come on, make a mistake, make a mistake. Oh, <laughs> that happens a lot. That actually does happen a lot. There we go, he tried to race in, and I'm just like, nah, you're going down. Lumberjack time. Now you can roll in all different directions, forward, back, up and down, which is nice. Oh, okay, alright, cool, that's fine. 
Uh, and I won. Excellent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so you can see there, you've also got your leveling up as well. So as you level up, you'll unlock the different characters and then of course the different weapons too. Now, uh, setting up, uh, we'll go, to, well, okay, maybe practice mode might be the easiest way. To, I should be able to choose, hopefully, different stages. Um, so you can versus the player, AI difficulty, what do we got? Maybe we can't in here. Uh, you can check all the sequences. So these are the sequences, right? Uh, they have available for the katana. So that's pretty cool. Right, that is pretty cool, right? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know, so continue. Okay, so it's just gonna put us in the dojo. All right, okay, all right. Let me just jump out, because I, I wanna show, I wanna showcase this how many stages, because I just like being thorough like that, all right? Okay, so. There we go. I don't think I can, I don't think I can kill him in, uh, in practice mode. There we go. All right, let's jump out. I think it might be in the... Let me see if I can do it here. Dual settings, arena select, custom. All right, custom, there we go. Okay, cool, all right. So maybe versus AI. Uh, arena selection on custom, okay, cool. So I should be able to choose it. Okay. Oh, here we go, awesome, excellent, cool. So, okay, so you got the street. You got the ancient forest, you got the winter ruins, the dojo, the prototype room or area, downtown, the village, office, and the garden, and the robot factory. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. All right. So that's really nice. So again, I paid $30 Australian for this game. Um, you know, a few different characters, lots of weapon customization, uh, nice assortment of weapons, which no doubt will obviously be added to the game. I think something. Somebody asked on the Discord about, oh, you know, will we actually get, um, you know, will we actually get uh, any, like, throwing weapons, stuff like that? That would be very cool, right? That would be very interesting to see indeed. Um, you can't obviously scoop up dirt like in Bushido Blade and, you know, throw it at them to blind them. You can't scale up any different parts of the area. So, yeah. So this is Die by the Blade. Um, I want to I want to thank the guys that made this game because this is really cool. I, I'm I've been an, having an absolute blast with this game. It's so much fun. Uh, I want to know what you guys think, and uh, I will catch you next time. See ya. <laughs>